So what we're looking at is um, a field of autumn sown wheat after all seed rape. The crop was drilled at the end of September, pretty good conditions overall, and had an application of slug pellets off the back of our Vadastad drill. We were unable to roll the field, so consolidation was always uh, going to be an issue. And as you can see, anywhere where the clay cap or colder soils were, we really did struggle to fight the slugs. I guess in terms of the pressure from the slugs last year, we have been certainly affected. You can see from this field that we've got lots of patches within fields, lots of part fields that have had to be re-drilled. Um, that obviously has a knock-on effect for all applications preceding that and probably harvest date. So it's going to be a good um, 12 months until we come back right again. All in all, <laughs> to say the slugs have sort of beaten us down is an understatement. Basically, you can see here, um, even now, the first week of May, the slug pressure within this crop is still, still there, um, grazing on the underleaves and um, slime trails on the surface. Although we can't physically find slugs, uh, they're probably fairly deep now. Um, the grazing is still here, which obviously creates warning signals for the forthcoming crop in the autumn. In terms of slug pellets used, we always try and look at number of baiting points per metre squared to make sure we get as good a control as possible. Uh, the products used, basically we went metaldehyde off the back of the drill, which we um, spread at six metres, and then um, the follow-up application was ferric phosphate. Our pellet choice is um, usually influenced by several things, price being one. Obviously we're an agricultural business and bottom line profit is always in the back of one's mind. Uh, operator exposure and the issues that some pellets can have with handling and applying. Um, the other issue is if you cast your mind back to September, October last year where we were having what seemed like rain every couple of days, the rain fastness of the product was obviously one of the um, focus points which is why we switched to ferric phosphate to try and combat that and obtain a good level of control through the catchy weather. The aim is always to achieve not perfection but as near as we can do practically within a farm scenario. Well, we're fully aware that the river frume behind us is a triple SI. The fiocarbon, metaldehyde products, obviously big issues in terms of being in water courses, which was half the reason for switching to ferric phosphate on this farm. No environmental restrictions, uh, no buffer zones, the ability to not harm non-target species, and purely from an operator point of view, a lot safer product to be handling. It's quoted in quite a few papers that one slug can eat 50 seeds a square metre in the first week post drilling. Um, generally our seed rates of autumn sown cereals are sort of 300 seeds so you can see you don't need too many slugs per metre squared to have a patchy crop. In a normal year we tend to just treat with a round of pellets off the back of the drill at drilling which always seems to work best anyway. This year I guess we were a bit more on the front foot and we were trapping in stubbles before because we knew the pressure would be high, bearing in mind the wet spring as well and the breeding of the slugs. Our dose rates are um, partially based on obviously the metaldehyde stewardship. So um, metaldehyde products are applied, or well, 3% metaldehyde products are applied at 5 kilos off the back of the drill. Um, the ferric phosphate products we were applying at five kilos also, which like for like is slightly more baiting points for the ferric phosphate, but enough of a cover to achieve a good control. The numbers went down, the pressure on the traps went down, so I guess all I can say is the product was working. Our experience is, don't be put off by the fact that the product doesn't work the same as other products, but you don't see the, the dead slug or the slime trail. So to a certain degree, you don't get the feel good factor of killing the slug. The product definitely works. It's more flexible in terms of its rain fast ability and the ability to use it in scenarios where you expect rain or scenarios where you're near water courses or scenarios where 
you're applying the product through something like a quad bike where operator exposure is an issue. In the future, I believe the cultural control of slugs is still going to be the mainstay of our control process. The ability to switch to a ferric phosphate based product um, gives us another tool in the toolbox if you like. Ferric phosphate is going to be a product that we can add into our integrated control and use in the future.